What's up, y'all? Um, just wanted to go over some stuff. This is just a unboxing, basically, of um, my movie. Some movie ones. This is only some of my movie one stuff. I guess this is my some of my sealed movie one collection. And we'll just I'm just gonna do some cuts so we don't have to go through all the bags and everything. But uh, but uh, just to start off to show you. Right on the top here, I got something really cool. And, uh, just hold on. Alright. Alright, so we have Movie 1, Barricade vs. Bumblebee. This was the box set that came out during, uh, the release of the street date there. So some other ones, we got Wreckage and Scorponok. They're sealed, this is sealed in box. Um, I'm not selling my movie one stuff. I might help a friend out with a few or something, but Pretty cool. So yeah, there's a little bio for you For those that haven't seen this before this is the automorph uh, Collection Then we have the premium series premium jazz Let's See premium series I have all the premium series as well. Um, I didn't open any of my premium series. I have uh, the Optimus Prime and Megatron as well, uh, unopened in the box. Get a little. Oops, sorry, I forgot about that. Yep. So there's the little bio there for Jazz. Here's some of the other figures that came out. Premium series Bumblebee. I'm not sure if I found him or not. Pretty cool. He's got like a silver paint job. Very cool. Alright, moving right along. We got the regular Scorponok. Really cool. I didn't um, change the lighting or anything to the camera, so hopefully it's not. Hopefully it comes out okay. There's his little bio. Pan down here. Some more figures in the line. Next up we have Premium Series Barricade. If anyone doesn't know what the Premium Series is, it's just the series that came after they did the whole line and the next wave of, you know, the few first four waves of figures. They did a premium series. It's basically in the fall. You know, these came out in, I think, June or something like that. Or the street date may have been May something, May 21st or something. Um, and these came out uh, in the fall, probably late fall, as a premium deco. A lot of people complained that they should have done it the first time, but you got to remember people that... That uh, sometimes they don't have the full decos and whatnot, and especially on the first movie, they probably didn't get very much information. It's got some kind of uh, sprayed on windows, and these are some beast toys. No hollow parts, they got metal pins through them, and you know, and hubcaps, it's rims. The deco is really nice, and they're, they're big. Uh, an example. This is a few years later when they started to get just a little smaller, but you can see that's a lot bigger toy than that. That's my sealed generations red alert. Next up we have salvage. This one's sealed. I would sell probably any movie toys that weren't in the movie, like salvage wasn't in the movie, so I suppose if someone wanted him, I would give him up. Here's his little bio. Come on, focus there, buddy. What is going on? Hold on. There we go. Transformers. And that's not, that's actual electric, like a lightning line. It's not part of the package that's ripped or anything. It's a good package. Sealed, see? Never been opened. Some of the figures. This is probably in wave two or three, maybe? Probably wave three. Pretty cool. I like his uh, design. And the 
This is auto spark plug and sun salvage. Automore feature. It's one of the I think drop kick was his uh repaint. Okay, next up we have, this was the preview figure. This came out in maybe April or something. Optimus Prime. We're talking 2007, guys. See, this first Transformers movie, movie preview. This was Protoform Optimus Prime. This is as he appeared and when they first showed the Transformers come down to Earth. And they come, they come, they come down as comets and then transform into these figures. And I do have these figures, or at least I'm supposed to, Loose. I'm pretty sure I do. I think I've seen them this year or last year or something. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't. The only thing is, um, my stepmom has a lot of control on these. Or had, more or less than now. There's the bio. One more time, we'll pan down. I know I have this guy loose as well as Starscream. I think I even have an extra star screen somewhere. That's loose. This is speed, intelligence, endurance, rank. They used to use eight, not just four, like they do now. This one's the second one, Protoform uh, Star Screen. See, there's his comet mode. Transformers, and we got movie preview, and this one also has bonus movie poster. And there's the lovable star scream. Really cool figure. This one's an awesome figure. I know I have a lot of fun messing around with them when I do. So you can get better lighting on that. There we go. Pretty cool. Uh, he's got a weapon. Looking at the back. He's gold, obviously. Here's his bio. And here's his, that's the old face. That's the face they were originally going to use. And then they turned it to that, which is his regular Starscream face. Good thing they changed it, because that is really bad. That's like a brawl face. Okay. Alright, so here we go. Decepticon Bone Crusher. I know I have a loose one of him too somewhere. Or a boxed, open version. I keep all my stuff in boxes. Automorph technology. That's what these are famous for. You can see the little deco there. I believe that's semi-movie accurate if I can focus on it. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm... It's a bulldog, anyway. That's what the sides of the packaging looks like. Here's the figures. Hold on, it's probably because it's at an angle. There. There's the figure. Here's his bio. Spinning blades. It's a pretty fun figure. Not as fun as that star scream, but yeah. So that's bone crush. Okay, this one is uh, Barricade. This is the regular version. See, so he's just got the clear windows. Doesn't have as much deco. It's pretty much close to it, but... You know, the lights are a little bit less... Here, I'll show you a comparison. Actually, you know what? I've already pretty much buried that thing, so... You're gonna have to wait till the end. Um, so there's the figures. There's Frenzy that he comes with. Barricade is a born liar. Bio. Stats. Sailing police car mode. And then... He's got the punch attack gimmick. And this part, if you look, you see that sticky stuff? Oh my god, that bothers me. It's like... My fingers, it's a piece of tape or something that got put on it. Once again, this is definitely not done by me. Some people got a hold of my stuff to repackage it. And that's why I'm having trouble finding stuff. Because <laughs> um, I had it all organized. 
But look at this one. This one's opened. So, I may do a review on him. Alright. Okay, this is the regular Jazz. As you can see, it doesn't have the premium silver paint. Automorph technology, transformers. He's got his weapon. But that gray plastic, I don't know if it looks... It doesn't look as good here, but in person, that gray plastic looks phenomenal, man. It's nothing like the gray plastic they're using today. It looks a little transparent in the video, but in real life, that's a dark gray. I mean, you can kind of see how good it looks. Maybe. There's the figures. There's this robot moon. Bio. And this one is open as well. What I don't understand is I had these in a big box and there was a lot of them. And I'd like to know why it's a smaller box now with less of them in there. I don't know if they've... It's been a while, but... This one's a premium. Oh no, this isn't my premium. This is Decepticon Brawl. Unopened. Pretty cool art they had back then. I like the, the you got nice brawl. This is the I, I skipped the, the leader for some reason. I don't have the leader. Now he's worth some crazy amount of money. The one I didn't pick up. I have blackout, I have all of them except for I have all of the movie one stuff except for leader brawl. Tank mode. This is robot mode, which was cool, but I remember he had some arm problems or something. His bio. And that's a wrap for this set, but uh, hold on one sec. Just going to do a couple quick uh, comparisons. So that's Jazz in the plastic colors, and that's Jazz in the silver paint. And as you can see, he's got clear plastic for the back taillights, and this is just painted. There's no clear plastic. Um, yeah, so it looks good. And then lastly, the differences between barricades. So we got barricade here. That's the regular. And then this is the premium. So you can see we got more outlines around the police. It's got the faded windows. Um, I was wrong about the light bar. There, I mean, it is a little bit more colorful, but it's the same basic uh, setup, just a little more colorful. Um, he's got, yeah, just the details are done a little bit better. So you can see the 911 on there. The 911 there is missing. The Decepticon shield has more detail in it than that one. Got the numbers on this one. Hold on. I don't think it does have. Oh, yeah, it has the number. It has a couple different sets, plus the orange lights. So, anyways. Alright, that's a wrap. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the flip.